Welcome to the Soulmate Twin Flame journey. This is where we're going to take a look at a group of you where you have maybe just met your soulmate recently. It's that beautiful instant connection that two people share, very different than a regular relationship. You can tell there's a spiritual aspect to it. And if you've met your twin flame, this is very much in the beginning it starts off like a soulmate relationship you click you two come together you actually mirror each other and then you separate to do your healing and your inner growth in the end the twin flames turn out to be very different very opposite of each other but it does start off in the beginning the same way so we're looking at this from different perspective okay and the reason it starts off that way is because of the karma that needs to be healed between the two of you. So we're going to take a look at the chaser, the first row. These cards will be the chaser. It's you who is viewing this reading that I'm going to, I'm going to read it as you as the chaser. It can be opposite but I'm gonna view it that way. You'll know which way it resonates with you if it actually resonates with you. I will also look at the runner and see what's going on in the runner's life, where they're at. And then I will move over to Vimeo to look at additional detail. So if it fits you, if this sounds like your situation, then you'll wanna look at that extended reading. So we have judgment. Judgment is all about a second opportunity coming back around. This is also some of you may be going through a court situation. Judgment can indicate the judicial system. And I am hearing that some of you are feeling stuck and trapped. The Eight of Swords, that's exactly what that energy is. Overthinking a situation, putting too much thought process over, over, overthinking all the time, all the time. Now, you may be waking up in the middle of the night wondering, is your soulmate, is your partner going to come back to you? And for another group of you, this is really about you putting through the divorce paperwork if you are in a situation where you're married and you need to get away. The hangman. Taking a step back and reevaluating the situation which completely ties in with the judgment card. This is a second opportunity to look at the situation, but the universe is saying, hey, take a look at it from a different angle. When we look from the front and we look at a car from the front, all we see is the hood. We see the hood, the windshield, and that's, that's about it, the front of the car. But when we look at a different angle, now we can see part of the hood and the windshield and the roof, and now we can see the whole side of it. We can see the tires, we can see the pinstripe, all the detail, all the indents in the metal. So the hangman is looking at things from a different angle so that you can really understand what's going on. This is about you doing your internal work, triggering you to go back in time, which does put us in this place of feeling stuck, feeling trapped, feeling trapped to your soulmate wondering if they're coming back and you are analyzing it which is really good energy the knight of wands this is you getting on your horse and moving toward what makes you happy in any aspect of life wands can be an indicator of spirituality so some of you are actually looking at a new opportunity in a spiritual way that you're trying to analyze is this right for me and the universe is saying, don't overthink it. Go with your gut. Listen to your internal voice, your internal compass, because it is gonna land you very, very good. This is positive energy. Now, some of you may be meeting somebody brand new. They might come in and try and sweep you off your feet or just have a weekend of sex because this can be the player mentality right here as well if we're talking about a person. This very well could be your overthinking, analyzing, is your soulmate a player, okay? Feeling like, oh my God, they're never gonna come back, never gonna come back. And that, again, is part of the process, leading you to go back to the root of the issue because they've triggered you 
to go and do your internal healing. Whatever that is, maybe you are used to people coming in and only wanting two days worth of your time or two months at the most, but no permanency. This is a non-permanent type of a situation. Yeah, they're really telling me this group of you, you're stuck. You're feeling like, oh my God, I am never going to be able to move forward. I am trapped to this person and I'm never going to be able to move forward. There's never going to be another person. Now let's take a look at your soulmate's energy this week and see what's going on within them. We have the World card, Princess of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Tower card. <clears throat> so, for some of you, they're getting ready. They, it's, it's what the universe is telling me, what I'm hearing from my guides, is they know it's time to start a new beginning. You guys may live far away from each other because you have cards indicating travel. So they're actually thinking about traveling. We have the Princess of Cups. This is an offer, an apology coming through. This is about emotional healing. They are going through their healing. They are, they, they're having a sense of awareness, okay? <clears throat> but I don't see any action on their end. Now, the Six of Pentacles is most likely why there's no action. Six of Pentacles is your partner trying to balance their life, put themselves back into balance, put their world so they feel grounded, like they can make clear, concise choices. What I'm actually hearing is they've been putting all their energy and effort into their work, trying to rebuild and grow upon things that have ended. Those, those chapters are closing up on them and they may be a little bit wobbly emotionally, not really knowing which way to go. We have the tower card and that's exactly what I'm talking about. So they've been putting a lot of energy and effort. They're gonna have major changes hit their life. You may be thinking that they're off running around, having fun, doing different people and non-committal player mentality. In reality, they have begun their healing process for this group of you, but the tower is going to really throw them into a part, a deep, intense part of their journey. This is on the surface, emotional healing on the surface, okay? This this is good. I don't know what's going to happen yet until we pull the detail, but this tower, this could be somebody coming out of their life. The person that they may have been involved with or emotionally attached to. They didn't disconnect emotionally. They didn't get any closure within themselves. So they're holding on to a relationship that ended. It ended. And now they're coming into, here you go. You didn't want to fix your life. The universe is going to come in and make them fix it. Going to make them fix it. But you, yourself, you're stuck. You're trapped. And that's part of this journey as well. The Eight of Swords, feeling trapped and stuck to this person who is emotionally immature, not emotionally available. That's why they run away. They view you as somebody they could build a relationship with. They could actually grow and start a new beginning with you, but they have fear. They're too emotionally immature. This is the page of cups. Again, this is about emotional immaturity. Feeling, they also, they, they know that you're there. They can feel your energy. There's an invisible cord between the two of you. It doesn't matter if you're a soulmate or twin flame. Right now, in this part of the journey, you are definitely feeling that energy. And they're feeling your energy as well. They do want to put themselves back into balance. They want, they want a sense of balance within you. So there is a new awareness coming to them. Coming to them not quite yet where they're going to really recognize who you are what you represent to them 
And you, this is, this is a stuck energy on both ends. So let's see what you guys are stuck on. Why are you stuck? Why are you feeling you can't go off and date other people? Or that your player, your, your player, <laughs> and that your soulmate twin may be a player mentality, okay? Fearing, this is all about fear. Fear that this reconciliation opportunity is not going to happen, that it's going to just pass you right by. It's just going to go right out of your life. That's not going to happen. It won't happen. So if you'd like, you can click the link below and that will shoot you to Vimeo. And let's pull the detail and I'll pull extra cards and see where this is going over the next week so thumbs up share and i love your comments thank you so much for uh subscribing to my channel i will see you on vimeo